Item number SCP-3665 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3665 is to be contained in a standard safe class locker in Site-19. In the event that the packaged imitation blood contained within SCP-3665 runs out, blood obtained from D-Class personnel may be used. During testing, research staff are advised to ensure that the powder used in the activation of SCP-3665-1 is not lost. SCP-3665 is a 15 by 10 by 3.5 cm package of a powdery substance labeled as Instant Demon Just Add Blood, with a depiction of a stylized male and female demon with ram-like horns and bat-like wings on either side of the text. Inside the package, there is a moderate amount of dry powder of an unidentified substance, or mixture of substances, having the overall consistency of talcum powder. Also packaged is a small plastic container of imitation blood, containing what appears to be cranberry juice, red food coloring, in a currently unidentified substance, along with instructions for use. Homo Fuge. Instructions Thank you for purchasing Instant Demon Just Add Blood by Asmodeus Labs. We always strive to give you the best experience in summoning forces more ancient and powerful than man will ever be, from the comfort of your own home. Are you tired of having to swear eternal loyalty to dark forces every time you want material wealth beyond your wildest dreams? Wish that succubus would quit droning about the details of your 24-year contract and suck on this? Well, now there's a better way. Using our state-of-the-art occult technology, we bundled the whole evocation process into an easy-to-access powder. Now even little Timmy can start raising hell. Literally. All you have to do is follow these easy instructions, and one of our fine spirits will be with you shortly. Step 1. Pour the powder out of the package and onto a flat surface. Step 2. Drop three drops of her imitation blood onto the powder and use it to write your name. No worries for you die-hard occultists out there, real blood works as well. Step 3. Wait and enjoy. When you're done, just collect the powder back into the bag and you're ready to use it again. Back Cover Asmodeus Labs is a company hell-bent on making the powers of darkness easy for the whole family to access. If this one demon doesn't satisfy you, we hope you'll come visit us for some more exciting products. Knowledge is power. The illusion of power is the illusion of knowledge. Asmodeus Labs When these instructions are followed, the powder around the area where the subject's name was written will begin to steam, and will continue to do so for roughly twenty minutes. Following this, SCP-3665-1 will appear to the individual who activated SCP-3665, appearing first as a red mist before adopting its usual form, expressing discontent that it must limit itself to such a lowly form, and greeting the individual who summoned it. SCP-3665-1 is an entity that is only perceptible to the individual who activated SCP-3665. Exact features such as gender, age, and ethnicity vary based on the individual, but SCP-3665-1 is most often described to be a humanoid, with the addition of features similar to a depiction of a demon or evil spirit, such as horn-like protrusion from the head, bat-like wings, and a short tail. SCP-3665-1 will speak in the language best known by the individual who activated SCP-3665 and appears to have an innate knowledge of the subject's history, personal life, and preferences. SCP-3665-1 appears to be unaware of or unwilling to acknowledge anyone except the individual who summoned it. SCP-3665-1 is able to seemingly remember specific events when activated by the same person multiple times, but is unable or unwilling to recall events that happened when it was activated by another individual. While present, SCP-3665-1 will perform tasks that are assigned to it by the individual who activated SCP-3665. However, actions that SCP-3665-1 appears to take do not affect anything other than the subject's perception. For instance, if asked to move a cup from one table to another, the subject would visualize SCP-3665-1 moving the cup. No one other than the subject would see the cup moving. However, 
When SCP-3665-1 expires, the cup would be in its original position. SCP-3665-1 is also seemingly unable to cause anyone serious injury or do anything that would significantly affect the surrounding area, due to its only being able to affect the subject's perception. If asked to do something it is unable to, SCP-3665-1 will respond with, Leave these frivolous demands, which strike a terror to my fainting soul. SCP-3665-1 will react similarly if asked a question the subject is unaware of the answer to. This can include giving incorrect information if the subject holds an untrue belief. After two hours, SCP-3665-1 will begin to disappear, described as evaporating slowly. During this time, all changes to the subject's perception will be reverted. Testing Log Note, During testing, personnel are required to transcribe requests and visual response from SCP-3665-1, which will make up the transcribed response portion of the testing log. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject's Request SCP-3665-1 is asked who or what it is. Transcribed Response Lowly human who dares to question my nature when knowledge of it would strike fear into thy very soul. I am a demon called here to fulfill your will. Call me what you will. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject's Request SCP-3665-1 was told that it would be called Bob for the remainder of the testing period. Transcribed Response Yes, tis indeed a good name that shall strike terror in the hearts of all good and holy men. All shall fear the name of Bob. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject's Request SCP-3665-1 was told to retrieve a cup of coffee. Transcribed Response SCP-3665-1 leaves the room for roughly 20 seconds. SCP-3665-1 returns with a cup of coffee that is hot to the touch, and tastes like coffee. Put empty cup of coffee down on table. Note, Dr. Raynard made motion to indicate that he was seeing a cup of coffee in front of him, and reported feeling re-energized after drinking it. This is believed to be a result of the placebo effect. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject Request SCP-3665-1 was told to retrieve a small cup of water and pour it on Dr. Raynard. Transcribed Response SCP-3665-1 leaves the room for roughly 20 seconds. SCP-3665-1 returns with a cup of water and pours it on Dr. Raynard. Dr. Raynard experiences discomfort but his clothes and body are not wet to the touch. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Note, An object is placed behind the door to the testing chamber. Dr. Raynard is unaware of what this object is, but is aware that one has been placed. Subject's Request Dr. Raynard instructs SCP-3665-1 to open the door, allowing himself to see what the object is. Transcribed Response Leave these frivolous demands which strike a terror to my fainting soul. SCP-3665-1 was unable to do so. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject Request SCP-3665-1 was asked why it follows instructions when summoned. Transcribed Response I am bound to by the terms of our contract gestures towards SCP-3665. Alas, were I not, I would spread evil across this land as my ilk did in the days of old. Count thy blessings, human. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard Subject's Request SCP-3665-1 is asked who created SCP-3665, and by extension the contract. Transcribed Response Leave these frivolous demands, which strike a terror to my fainting soul. Note, Dr. Raynard noted that this was stated in the same tone of voice and annotation as it was previously stated, likened to a pre-recorded message. Date of Test 2017 Subject, Dr. Raynard 
Subject's request. SCP-3665-1 has asked for information regarding the individuals affiliated with Asmodeus Labs. Transcribed response. Per interloquium respectu toitus. Note. This is the first recorded instance of SCP-3665-1 issuing a response that indicated it may have some knowledge of who or what created it. Date of Test 2017 Subject Dr. Raynard Subject Request SCP-3665-1 has asked what its meaning behind the previous response was, in regards to the previous test log. Transcribed Response My contractors are elusive. But, Salamon Miseris Socios Habeas Dolores. Do you crave real power? Find us at the crossroads. Note, investigation of the previous responses is ongoing. Further tests in which SCP-3665-1 is questioned as to its origin are scheduled to take place at a later date.